Hi, welcome to my cooking channel, Ala Fidel. Uh, my name is Fidel, and I've um, been putting out recipes that my mom taught me and some other recipes from other people that are very simple to make when you come home. Easy, go to the supermarket, get a couple of items, come home, start cooking, and um, can be ready in an hour. So tonight we're making broccoli rabe saute and on a grill I'm going to be making parsley and cheese sausage that I picked up yesterday. Uh, this goes on a grill. It's dark out. It's not going to be easy to see but basically I'll be putting it on a grill on medium for about seven eight minutes. Flip it another seven eight minutes and it's done. Then I bring it in, I pull out the skewer that it comes on, pull them out, just go right across, and then serve it. So we're gonna start with, uh, I did, oh, also we'll be making garlic bread. So I already toasted it, just put it in the oven, and I broiled it, leftover bread from yesterday. I'll show you how I do that, it's real simple. I uh, sliced about, three quarters of a head of garlic. I'm gonna add about a half a cup of olive oil. Now we're gonna cook this till it starts to, uh, not brown, but you know, saute nice. And then what we'll do is I'll add the uh, broccoli rabe. The broccoli rabe comes in bunches looks like this it's got leaves it's got a little broccoli type of head on it as you can see right there so what I do is I wash this when I get the bunch I take about I would say about that much off the bottom the long stem and then what I do is I wash these all put them in a colander then put it on a cutting board and then I cut it in three one well, I cut it twice, but you get three parts to it. Small, small, and small. Basically, it looks like that. So I do the two bunches. So this way you're not eating these big pieces of broccoli rub. Now, as the garlic cooks, I'm gonna be adding a glass. You can either use water, or white wine and what I do is I put in uh, it's called better than bouillon it's soft chicken bouillon it comes in beef vegetable and chicken so now that it's starting to turn I'm going to add this to stop the action so I put two teaspoons of better than bouillon in a glass of water about a cup and now I'm going to add my broccoli rabe because you need a little bit of water on the bottom so it steams. So I'm going to add half, let it wilt. I'll put the top on it. Put it on medium high and let that cook down. Now, as far as the bread, what I do is I toast it so it's a little hard. And then I'm going to take a clove of garlic. And what I do is I just rub it right on there. Okay. Not real hard because you don't want to put a lot on it. But just enough to give it flavor. I do this first. You probably use maybe a half a garlic by doing this. And then you serve this, I'm gonna cut it one more time in half. And then you serve this with the broccoli rabe. So you can put broccoli rabe on a piece of garlic bread and eat it or soak up the juice. And all I do is I take the garlic, rub it. I take a little olive oil, I take a brush I brush it, 
and then I take a little oregano. You can also put grated cheese. You could do a little bit of grated cheese on this. And if you need more olive oil, you just add a little more olive oil. That's all I'm doing, it's just brushing on the olive oil. And then I add the oregano. The uh, oregano, I buy in an Italian deli. It comes from Sicily and it looks like this. It's all still on a branch. Costs about six bucks. And what I do is I, I've seen on YouTube where people use it, they just keep it together and just go like that or grab it and just crunch it over what they're making. I just take it and I turn it in here and I, Keep turning until all, a lot of this, 90% of the oregano flour falls to the bottom. See, it sits like this. Then I cut the end, cut the end, and I put it in a little jar. Then when I need it, see, I just take it out. I rub it in my hands a little to get the oils going. And I put it over what I'm serving, depending what it is. You can do it by hand or just rub and let it fall out between the palms of your hands. And that's it. That's my way of making garlic bread. Real simple. So the broccoli rod now is sauteing. It's fallen. It's like down to almost like nothing. It's really wilts down, as you can see, okay? It's like spinach, it wilts. Now I'll take the rest of this, put it in there, and this one that I showed you that needs to be cut. I like it small. Some people just put the whole thing, but it's too big for me. It's the way I like it. And then I let it wilt, and I'm gonna add the calamari olives. I pitted them, I'm ready to go in, just to give it a little extra flavor. Now, if you're making um, broccoli rabe for pasta, and you want to add sausage, like this, or regular sausage, you start to brown the garlic, you throw in the sausage broken up out of the casing, you slice down the middle of the casing, take the sausage out, you break it up, put it in, you brown it, then you add your broccoli rabe, just leave it in big chunks, like mini meatball pieces. You throw the broccoli rabe in, and then you cook it the way I'm doing it. That's the only difference. And then you make your pasta. This should cook for about 25 minutes and it's ready. So once you throw this in, you get the water running, get it come to a boil, and about 10 minutes before this is ready, is uh, you'll see it goes from bright green to a darker green and what I do is I pick up one of the thickest stems that are in there like this and I taste it and I see is it still hard as a rock if it is I just let it cook a little longer so that's one dish you can make broccoli rabe another dish you can do with it is if you want to have broccoli rabe with spaghetti uh, with shrimp so what I would do is have the shrimp ready Throw the pasta in. When the pasta has got about three minutes left on it, I would throw the shrimp in. The shrimp you shouldn't cook in more than three minutes because then it starts to get rubbery. I never cook my shrimp past like three minutes. You see, it's all wilted down. So I'll lower the heat now to low and I'll let this cook down. This is when I add the olives. The calamari olives and the broccoli rabe, it's good. You grab some and you put it on a piece of bread, yum. But some people, my clients, I'm asking, how do you make broccoli rabe? Well, this is how I was taught from my mom. But you can also take a frying pan, you put olive oil in, garlic slice, like we sauteed the garlic, separate. And in a pot of water boiling, you throw your broccoli rabe in it and you cook it for a few minutes. 
and then you would take it off. I never made it that way, so I think you would have to cook it for at least five minutes, seven minutes. Then you pull it out with the thongs or you drain it, and then you would add it to the saute pan that has the garlic in it, and you spin it. That's where a lot of restaurants do it. Um, I just like it this way. Again, a la Fidel, which my daughter always says when I change recipes, oh, it's a la Fidel tonight because I took something out or added something. So you got your basic broccoli rob, then you can add olives, that's one way. Another way, broken sausage in it. Another way you can make it is with the shrimp, with pasta. So tonight it's just a side dish to go with the sausage. Now, why I, you say, why I add the sausage in it? Because I usually do the broken sausage for pasta. Never make it just to eat it like that, but you can. Uh, I like this sausage parsley and cheese sausage um, on the grill. And uh, broccoli rub on the side. So I will be coming back uh, when this is all ready and the sausage is grilled. So I'm not going to bore you with, with the grill, putting it on a grill, because that's all I'm doing is putting it on a grill, setting it for seven, eight minutes, flipping it, cooking another seven, eight minutes, and it's done. But I'll see you soon. Okay. I um, cooked the broccoli rob. The broccoli rob is ready. I'm just going to put it in a bowl and ready to eat. Took about 25 minutes. The sausage I did eight minutes on each side on the grill. And then I Put some grated Pecorino Romano on the uh, breadcrumbs. Um, breadcrumbs, sorry, on the uh, garlic bread, and that's it. So, very simple to make. Thank you for watching. Um, as my mom would say, "Manja figlio mi manja." Salut, and uh, we'll see you soon when I put some more recipes on. Ala Fidel cooking channel. Thank you. Salute.